Tonight is our Homecoming Honors Banquet. It's an event in which our Islander Athletics uh, partners with the Alumni Association and we honor some really amazing individuals. We recognize three people with distinguished alumni awards. Uh, tonight specifically we have two Hall of Honor inductees and also five individuals with college achievement honorees for their service to their profession. I'm Ronnie Era, uh, ex-basketball coach here. Uh, always good to be back on the island. Looking forward to tonight. Linda Benavides. I'm a community advocate and volunteer and I graduated with my undergrad in 88 and then um, with my master's in 92. It was hard to believe 21 years ago on just an island with no sports whatsoever, we started Division I sports. And the first year we had no uh, t games, we had two players, we went out recruiting, and we went from no program at all to seven years later to the NCAA tournament. I've been involved here since Dr. Ferguson and then of course Dr. Killebrew, and I am just so motivated and re-inspired under Dr. Quintanilla's leadership. I am just over the moon. I love this university. We have a professorship chair in honor of my late husband. I serve on the foundation board here and I'm just gaining a whole new perspective of the impact that this university has on our community and with the growth of our community both in business and um, economically I think that this university is set uh, to provide uh, the students and those individuals that will need to lead our, our community, our city, and our state. Every time I wake up in the morning and I go to look at basketball scores, the first score I look for is Texas A&M Corpus Christi. That's my baby. That's, we started it, we grew the baby, and now it's something large and Willis is doing a good job. And uh, I was so happy when y'all uh, hired him, not only as a good coach, he's a great person. Whenever you go through life and you put time, effort, and energy into a project, the epitome of that is to be able to get as high as you can. And the bottom line is, uh, this is that. 